What started as a simple letter of appreciation turned into a 300-plus petition in support of former University of Illinois Chancellor Phyllis Wise. Champaign residents and U of I alumni Ginny Holder and Joan Sensenbrenner initially wrote the letter because they feel Wise was unjustly done. I, I just feel this was all just boom, boom, done. And it was like, no, that's not how we do this. Sensenbrenner says she's aware Wise won't be returning as chancellor, but she would still like to see Wise involved because of her knowledge and background with the Ph.D. in molecular biology. She's this little four foot ten inch person who, you know, <laughs> packs, who packs an, an intellectual punch. The news regarding former U of I Chancellor Phyllis Wise has yet to settle. However, Professor Rosenstein of the University of Illinois says what is done is done. I think um, on balance she's done more damage to this university than good. Um, and quite frankly, I, I think it's time to move on to somebody else. But Holder and Sensenbrenner want to give Wise the credit she deserves. A week ago, a copy of the letter with all the supporting signatures was sent out to each one of the Board of Trustees, but Sensenbrenner says they have yet to hear a reply. To date. Not a word. And not, not, a, not thank you for, you know, not even an acknowledgement that it was nothing received. From none nothing. Of them. Holder and Sensenbrenner are passionate about this issue because they are passionate about the school and the community, but they don't believe how the school is handling the issue is justified. I'd like to see a response from any one member of the Board of Trustees. You know, we're, we're graduates, we're donors, we exist, we're part, we live in this community. We, we exist here. But they don't hesitate to send us, you know, solicitation for why don't you give more money. The woman would simply like to see Wise re-involved in the school she's already committed so much to. In Champaign, I'm Jasmine Din, UI7 News Break.